Real question though. Jersey Mike's. Fire. Or Jimmy John's. Mm. I, I don't think I've ever had Jimmy John's. What are you on? I don't know. Or, I, I don't think... or Firehouse Subs. Ooh. This is a three way. Mm. There used to be a manager for Firehouse, Firehouse Subs in my uh, neighborhood where I lived, mm. and he would give us some like like coupons or be like, yeah, come in, you know, I'll, let you, I'll give you guys on the house because he was a really nice guy. Yeah. Really... Um, fuck. I might have to say Jersey Mike's still. I don't know. I'd like Firehouse Yeah, Jersey, subs, Mike's, Jersey Mike's. They just have options. I went into a Firehouse over the weekend. <coughs> over, <coughs> oh, my God. Over the weekend. They didn't have shit. I mean, they had shit, but it was like Jersey Mike's, dude. They have like fucking however many subs, like fifty something subs. They got a lot of choices. Yeah, from, I do like this just place. Pick from yeah, across two words from my apartments called Chiba Hut. Super good food. It's all stoner based too. Pizza. Hut? Like, I've been so there a couple of times. Their sizes will be like <laughs> Nug, Pinner, and Blunt for like the sub sizes. I've never heard of Pizza Hut having those options. <laughs> I will fucking pizza in your mouth. I do like some good Italian food, so I'm, I do like Pizza Hut, man. Have you, uh... They, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. It's top cuisine. <laughs> okay. Also also picking uh, Jersey Mike's as well. Yeah, Jersey Mike's. Because of buffalo chicken. If they mm-hmm. got buffalo chicken, I'm there. Chicken, bacon, ranch, melt. Also, mm-hmm. just go. It goes buffalo too chicken. Buffalo, buffalo chicken. chicken's good, yes, but I will say buffalo chicken's always the best. Real quick though, have you eaten that a uh, piata, Gan? Yeah, I've never heard of it. I, sometimes I get some uh, piata bread from the store <laughs> when I'm feeling a little extra Greek. I'll give you one uppercut straight to the chin. I'll give you one nut to the chin. Shut up. This one. <laughs> you want more? I will Greedy cut bitch. off your chin and give you Peter Griffin's ball chin. Mm. Connects Alec all Baldwin? the dots. Yeah, Alec I'll cut Baldwin. you off after I put my balls about? in your He's chin. A... Is he arrested? He's yeah. They're thinking about arresting him and like putting him in jail. For manslaughter. Yeah. I still think like even with all the steps that like. Him and the rest of like producers and on the team that like skipped to where the event happened. It's still like, it's still an accident. He didn't mean to shoot the person and kill. Well, him. Did... he no. What what's happening is he's facing up to eighteen months in prison, which You'll probably I just mean, get house arrest or probation for, man, for killing somebody. It's not bad. It's but it's unintentional manslaughter or involuntary. Yeah, involuntary. I keep it intentional. Straight Wait, up. What? But he, uh, what I, I uh, saw a video today, talk, somebody talking about it. They said he refused to take a plea deal that would have only been like six months of probation and like 15 to 30 hours of community service. And he turned it down. Now he's facing up to 18 months in prison. Like, I wonder why, if they're... why the fuck would you turn something like that down when you're in this scenario? Like, dude, just take the hit. Take the, the probation. Wonder if it's... I wonder if his it's lawyers pride. looked at him after the fact and were just like, "No, it's like just had six months." I'm not the biggest Alec Baldwin fan either, but it's like no. he definitely doesn't. I don't think he deserves jail time for it. But when you're faced with a scenario where you can get out of jail for literally killing someone, take the deal, brother. I well, just don't get it. Did um, Bruce Lee's son ever get justice for being killed on the movie The Crow? Wait, what? Hold on. Whoa, whoa. Backtrack. You ever seen the movie The Crow? No, I've never. I don't think I've ever even heard of it. Bruce lie, Lee's I son. Know. I don't I think I've ever heard of Bruce Lee. <coughs> for real. Is that Spike Lee's brother? Is he like Jackie Chan? Get out. <laughs> is he like I another know. Jackie, Jackie Chan? Is he like, is he like the new Jackie Chan? <laughs> He's like the old Jackie Chan. He's like Jackie Chan before Jackie Chan. You so, guys are not about to gaslight me into not knowing who Bruce Lee is. Bruce Lee is huge. Is he like Adrian, Adrian related to Bruce Springsteen? Adrian pulled up. 
We know who Bruce Lee is. You fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but but then, do you know who his his son no, is? No, we don't know. No, his I son. didn't. I didn't even know his son and was in movies. He was in one movie and he was killed. I'm sorry. Yeah, go dying ahead and on laugh the first about movie. Why you, you look it up? <laughs> exactly. So let's look it up, Adrian. I'm gonna it's act like my dad. Died. It's actually it's like a huge thing right now with um. Who's the guy that played it? Bill, is it Bill Skarsgård? Bill Skarsgård. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got to play the new crow. And there's different renditions of the crow. Like, you know, in Spawn, mm-hmm. there's different spawns, you know? Mm-hmm. He's playing the exact same rendition. I don't know what Bruce Lee's son's name is off the top of my head now. But Bill Skarsgård. Lee. Pro- <laughs> I'm going to uppercut you. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I got this. But he was killed on set. It's actually kind of crazy. The whole story. Brandon is Lee. Brandon Lee. Yep. What? He looks like such a white guy too. Yeah, he is well, white his, as hell. Well, Bruce Lee married a. Um, oh, he died of a he... gunshot wound. No, I thought he like died like. <laughs> he died because he got shot on the set. I thought you. There's I the connection to the Alec said... Baldwin thing, obviously. Well, That's I thought he just I died, like, doing me. a stunt on set or something. Like, I thought, like, he, it was like a, he fell off of a high place or whatever. I don't know. I didn't know he got shot. Did you say that? I wasn't, I wasn't. Where's my gun? <laughs> don't, yeah. don't, don't say that. You know that. what I'm about to do on set? <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of the Something Original Podcast. My name is Adrian, and in our lovely virtual studio is our other two hosts. Chase. And Gannon. Sorry, I got nervous. You guys I did get... such a beautiful intro, and you just fucking ruined it. Uh, I mean, six out of ten, if we're being honest. But I'll give you um, six inches, and ten times. Oh, where the fuck did Gan go? I don't, I don't know. He's... It's like you did the intro, and then he just leaves. He's like, I did my part. I'm not getting paid for the rest of this. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> this laughing. shit out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, high noon. I see. Not sponsored. Mm. You know, I had a happy dad the other day. Surprisingly, wow. really good. Seltzer. How did you make the dad nice. happy? Well, you know, it must I've been nice to have a happy dad growing up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, but the <laughs> seltzer happy dads—they're uh, actually not. I had the pineapple one. It was actually really fucking good. Surprisingly, really good. Surprisingly, Delicious? I don't care. Oh, oh wow. Oh, did you see the, uh, I know you're off the cut water scan, but did you see the pic I sent in the group chat? Espresso Martini? Yeah, you did. They have those out here. That was weird. They have those in there. They have those out here, and I I think I might have actually tried them. Oh, really? Yeah. My question like is, why was your dick out in the picture? See, my, my problem is I had those. to make it, you know, <laughs> I had to, like, measure the size compared to the can. The can beat me by a little I see bit. what you were doing. Not going to lie, but... You had to make the drink look bigger to prove you were drinking a lot, so you put your dick next to it. To make it look bigger. Anyways. Anyways. Um, um, I see cut waters in the challenge. I feel like I found out what it is. Like, because there's only four of them in there. But they're also, like... They range from, like, 12 to 15%, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's literally just a cocktail in a can, you know? Yeah. I, th- I don't think they're legally allowed to sell more than, like, four in a box, you know? Cause it, it, I, I mean, think so. People will, like, drink a pack the of them. Yeah. Like un- me. Unknowingly and, like, they On, like, die. a Tuesday. Yeah. But, yeah, dude, Cutwaters, it's hit or miss. It's like you get a really good one, or it's like, oh my Disgusting. god, dude, why would they put this out? They had uh, the peach margarita. All the margarita ones are pretty good. I want the lime and the strawberry sometimes. Like, mm-mm. yeah, the what Moscow kind of Mule ones are the best, or the vodka mules. Sorry, I was gonna say, you know what drink I've been craving? Not a 
like cut water just in general i've been craving a moscow mule ran that's weirdly. my go-to like yeah when I, was go out to a restaurant, I was like, and i was also gonna ask what's your guys go to uh like drink like going out jameson from, pineapple juice mine always depends on where we are like yeah um, i mean if i'm at a mexican restaurant i'm getting a margarita 100 percent. i never switch up i'm getting a corona I really don't. usually I usually get a, but, just get a dude, beer. If if I'm eating, I'd get a beer. When one year for New Year's, it, uh, Chase and I went down to this place called the Oregon District out here, and it's essentially like the uh, gas lamp. You guys went from Ohio to Oregon. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, it's called. It is spelled Oregon, but it's the Oregon pre- District. So they what, what we have to do is we take a Oregon. rift through the mentions. Is we, that like the District of Columbia? You know, Kinda. Yeah. It's yeah. a historical district. It's I think it's protected Ohio. by the oh, government. I was, make, I was making a joke. I didn't, oh, <laughs> I didn't Ohio be a real answer to that. Ohio, Ohio doesn't exist, but it exists everywhere. It's, it's more of a state land. of mind, less than a state of Ooh, that America. Big D, no Detroit. Know what I mean? Big D, no Detroit, Dave. baby. <laughs> Dave, homie. Um, <laughs> what were we talking about? What are we talking about? Drinks. So, dude. Yeah, it was New Year's. I came back on from leave, dude, and Chase and I went out to the, the Oregon District, right? It's like our little downtown little – it's hip, you know? It's hip. Yeah. And it's cool, and all the all the guys go down there. But I just remember, like, drinking or, like, doing something. I look over, and then he got Chase with his copper cup. <laughs> I was, like, cow, walking dude. around with the copper cup. I was like – because I wanted a Moscow Mule, but I thought since it was New Year's, they would put it in just a fucking you know plastic cup or whatever. No, so they gave me dude. a full copper cup, and I was like, okay. It looked kind of cool. I don't. I mean, like I would, the handle I would, and everything. The handle and everything. Yeah. yeah. No, I gave it back. I don't know the what light, I was do with it. The light would keep. What do you like, mean? You keep you it. Chase? Drink normal shit out of it. You find Chase. I was depressed. The light would reflect off the cup. So you can find Chase anywhere in the room. I like, was the oh, only one Chase. too. I was the With everybody. The everybody kept up. walking up to me and was like, "Dude, what are you drinking?" I was like, "What do you think I'm drinking?" <laughs> like, there's like, no other guests for this. Where's Chase? Where's Chase? Are you just seeing the crowd back in the background, just <laughs> reflecting off the light? <laughs> there he is. It is yeah. kind of it is, it is kind of a tough look. I ain't gonna lie. You got it is hard. My charger. It's like a, it's it's close to a goblet. Or a chow. Oh, I, why would why wouldn't you keep that? I, cause well, I'm it, not, it doesn't I'm... look like that, Adrian. He's not yeah. walking around with a straight up diamond crusted copper cup. No, I know, this but is... it still, it looks. It just sounds it's like it cool. looks cool. I would keep it. I would have kept it. It's just like a little. I, it, it, it was a simple. It's just cup. a little copper cup. Like it's not a crazy yeah. thing. <laughs> Listen, if it looks cool and it's a cup I could take home, I will. Like I couldn't take could... it home though. We have what six. We have six collectible Raisin Cane's Post Malone cups in our Those cupboard right come now. with the meal. Yeah. Well, it was, take it those was, home. Those were limited edition, too. So. This, is a, this was a bar that I, I don't care. You, you just to. walk out with it. If they say but something. Okay, security? I'm a in big the, in, believer in, the, in karma. Pocket? I'm a big believer in karma. And, yeah, this was early in the night during New Year's. You're going to stay out until 12. We went to another bar, I'm pretty sure, after this. I'm not going to lug this it's around. It's New with Year's. Me. It's New Year's. You, you walk up to the bartender in the next bar. You say, hey, I want my drink in this. No. I'm not going to. Then I mean, it's what's New do? Year's. They're dealing with like hundreds of people a minute. I'm not going to be like, hey, can you Way pour my to be can you make my drink Betty. in this? No, You're I'm not going to do that. Betty. And then, like, he leaves a bar and then ties it with his lanyard to his uh, pants yeah. loop. Yes. And then walk that. around with it. Then you have then a throw cup some with dice a in it. Throw some dice every in time it you drink it. Every time you drink it out of the cup afterward, you have memories to think about. Yeah, it, I, I mean, it, it was a like I said, it was a depressing time. I'm not uh, fond. That of is that. true. It was fun to see Gannon, but um, no, I get it. They're I remember the next morning. I had that was the first time I've ever overdrawn on my bank account too. So I got a, I got a question, Chase. I have to keep going, but sorry. <laughs> what were you saying? 
I, it was the first time I've ever overdrawn on my account, and I went to go pick up Gannon the next morning because, I, like I said, I was depressed. I left early. As soon as the ball dropped, I was like, hey, I'm dipping. And so Gannon stayed down there. I went back down to pick up Gannon, and then we went back up to Brooklyn. SOS. SOS. Had to go stop by Mickey D's to get a McChick. Um, mm-hmm. Found out my account was overdrawn because I went to go pay for that. It, it, it's so sad when your card declines in fucking McDonald's. That's like that's we've been that. I've during been the there, depressing dude. time too. I've been there, dude. <laughs> it's like oh fuck. Dude. Adrian and I've been in some broke times. Oh. <laughs> Throwing some money together to get like a pizza. <laughs> yeah, but so, we get yeah, a giant I... one. We get the one that lasted like three weeks. The chase. We had one These that were... legit lasted like I think it was like eight days. It was comically large. Legit, <laughs> the guy had to put it in sideways. Every yeah, you could not yeah. get it through the door holding it. So uh, how are you delivering this? Like if it's so like difficult to get it delivered, he comes up with it. He comes right to your door. Like yeah, it's a delivery man. I'm pretty and they, sure he's in the elevator by himself at that point. Yeah. People can walk by and, and you like, gotta, oh, yeah, don't want to be the pizza you guy. Had, you got to turn it sideways real quick, get it to the doorway, grab it, put it on the stovetop box, hangs over a little bit because it's so fucking big. It's like a <laughs> – it, it was like – How much was it? <laughs> it was – and it was not expensive. It would be like – Twenty-something dollars. Twenty-something bucks. That's not bad yeah. at all. With like a drink. It was on base. It was on base pizza place. No, I'm still out here. It'll, it'll That's what they should call it. it. The on base pizza on place, base dude. Giant pizza place. Oh, giant pizza king. Is that the title of the podcast? Was it on base? No, I don't. It wasn't on base, but the, they did have a lot of the, clearance. No, because um, remember, fucking one of the air dudes from our ship, Big Jones. Oh yeah, the big black guy. He delivered it. To our door before, because some people That's worked right. like on the side doing delivery for them because they had base access, so it was a lot more money and like tips and everything because they could just get the big orders from all the drunk people or the stupid people or just the fat asses on base who were or just the like, broke yeah, people. Order. And they would have the fucking door <laughs> um, menu advertising thing like on your door all the time. Which is, mm-hmm. I used to have like four of them, just like sitting around in the apartment. Those are crazy times. Eat on the floor. <laughs> I wasn't ever down that bad. Except for that one time. For Mickey D's. <laughs> that was rough. Let's see. Their giant pizza. Shit. Now it's like... One second. With the one works, second. it's 54 bucks. But It's a 28-inch pizza. Inflation, man. It's killer. It's killer out here. It, it's a 28 inch pizza though like that's fucking insane it's <laughs> like, a 20 inch kind of 28 small. 28 inches yeah it's a little it's a little undersized in my opinion oh Again, my do you pit, remember my pit sweat no do you remember the uh beds at the uh edit it put like a face there <laughs> where did we live at where where did we live Which at the first time on base Snyder? Uh, the Snyder, dude. Remember the beds for Snyder? That, that was thugging it. The remember the be- you remember the bed so size? Ghetto. You remember the bed size at for the beds at Snyder? Yeah. The giant pizza king, like the box, was like more than half the size of the bed. I remember me and um, Big Dave was my roommate, so we ordered oh, one yeah. for each, for our, like each other because he was. I was like, I'm fucking hungry, and. He was like, "Yeah, I just I just came back from the gym. I'm hungry too." So we got a big pizza and we just shared it between us. And like we put it on his bed and the shit was like more, more than half the size of the bed. I was like, "God damn." We we Crazy actually killed that pizza in like 3 days. We were munching on that thing. But it was hard to keep it cuz you know, they were such little fridge. Like they stuff two people in that room and they give you a mini a fridge mini to fridge. share. That's rough. It pretty much makes it so you have to get dinner. Like, you have to get food. Yeah. Like, there's or no on the saving ship. food. Yeah. Which, no. Absolutely not. Yeah. And then I got that beacon, and we had the real yeah. fridge. Which and I got like, kicked <laughs> out of the Snyder. <laughs> it was like a, oh. 
when I finally hit that Are big Are you talking fridge. about Gannon's thick or what? No. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, no. The Beacon was the uh, other barracks. The Panic. That's the like panic an apartment. Board. It's like a two-bedroom apartment. You get your own bedroom, your own bathroom. You just share the living room and kitchen and balcony with somebody else who has their own bed and bedroom and bathroom. And a big wall. It was a nice walk-in closet, too. Dude, first roommate? Cool. Second dude? Super weird. Yeah, the, the first guy, we was... He was okay. He was, he was kinda, long time. He was, he was standoffish. Chilling. He was standoffish a little bit. But he wasn't a, 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 a narc. No, but he did get annoyed with me, and he was like, he was like, oh, well, like, how long is he going to stay here? And I told him straight up, I was like, this is my best friend. He got kicked out of his barracks for no reason just because he was being helpful to one of our other friends. So, like, he's staying with me until he gets out. He's like, oh, all right. And I always try to be nice to, like, your roommates. The second guy? Weirdo. He was weird. He wasn't a bad guy. He was just a weirdo. He talked a lot. He didn't curse. He'd be like, what the frick? Yeah. Sounds like my kind of guy. But he was always, remember he'd be, like, talking about, remember, when do you tell tell us that he's going to snitch? Which one was it that was, like, we had we had to have like a sit down conversation with this dude. It might have been the first one who ended up leaving because really? he made second class. Good. Because the second dude, he was only there for like a month and then went on deployment. Oh, that's right. And, that, and then we just had the whole place to ourselves. Then we were big chilling. The, just a whole when he bunch came, of dumb came shit. back, what he came back to was definitely a different place. Well, he didn't. He still wasn't back when I left. So that place got cleaned and. Everything. <laughs> Big old piss stain in the carpet. <laughs> it Audience, wide. guess whose piss stain it was? <laughs> the cat. <laughs> the cat. Uh, in my hat. Didn't good, you have a question, Adrian? Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you. Yeah, not to get too touchy with things, but you said it was a depressing time. Was this before the days of the Footloose reboot and you just didn't have any purpose because you hadn't watched the Footloose. It was after. It was after. Just, drifting, uh-huh. just drifting through the cosmos. <laughs> I don't know where, I don't well, know I don't where know to dance. I don't know my purpose. I don't what? know where this ends. I where love Footloose, I but it just I, just... I love Footloose. It just needs something new. My no, foot I, is I, kind of You guys is. are missing a big piece of context. I've never seen the first Footloose, the original Footloose. I just I've wish there was a movie about <laughs> dancing getting outlawed. <laughs> My life has no meaning until I, uh, until I find a movie where uh, dancing is banned because of something. I don't even know the, the plot. Because the mayor doesn't like fun. That's the whole. That's the whole premise. That's can, so dumb. Why is it pushed as a movie towards adults with, with a Disney plot? Well, it takes but, place in high school. Do you understand how dancing works? It can, yeah, Adrian. Like, come on. What do you mean it takes place in high school? It doesn't fucking like it takes place in high school. What's that dance Adrian? movie with Channing Tatum? Magic step Mike. Up. This isn't the first step oh. up, aren't they? In it? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't step. Maybe was it step up? I think you're talking about Magic Mike. There's some dance movie with a a white boy who's with a crew of black people who dance, and they're in like high school or some shit. I don't know if it was the first step up. High I School don't. Musical. High School. <laughs> it was definitely. Was it Stomp the Yard? I I have never seen any. Oh, of those dance Long It's Yard. Actually. Long Except for with Adam Sandler, there's some dancing. Sorry, I I felt a shaking. I don't know if Happy it was the AC feet. below me or an earthquake. What? A, imagine living in a place where you have to fear that. That's crazy. Oh, I don't yeah, fear. It's so weird. I don't fear. I just get curious. I'm like, did I feel this one? Because there's been there's earthquakes all the time. In the back of your mind. Not really, no. You had a, um, a shaking in your house, and you thought, 
it's either an air condition or an earthquake. Yeah. I just want to know. That's, I'm that's, not those worried. Those are two very, very different sides of a spectrum of rumble. Well, yeah, because, like, the, AC, they're, the people below me, I think their AC unit shit's, like, right below me. So if they kick on, their AC kicks on, it, like, vibrates here. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> Sounds like no, a mean. good time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, no, uh, I'm not, it's not the, like, when I'm like, oh, it's an earthquake, I'm not worried. I'm just like, was it? Or was it something else? Because sometimes if it's not. He himself every single time. Come on, urination. That's why they so tell long. you to go to the bathtub so the piss just goes down the drain. <laughs> but yeah, but ever... what if I'm already, already wearing a diaper? I just came back from New Year's. Should we bring back? <laughs> just, should we? Should we just normalize diapers? Are you into that? Realistically, no. <laughs> never. I hear podcasts about talking about people that. Ideally, that. if we can get suits like I heard Podcast? they have in Dune, where like all of their waste gets recycled or whatever, and oh, that Dune would too, be ideal. Can we see Chalamet? It's Chalamet, you fucking swine. <laughs> I've never, I've never I've even never... heard himself <laughs> recall himself. <laughs> I've it's... heard him say his name, Timothy Chalamet. No, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Actually, and then you're gone too Adrian, far, Adrian. Idiot. <laughs> How about you suak my diok? What about that? Only if you have a giot. <laughs> <laughs> Brain rot. <laughs> uh, uh, did we ever say our favorite drinks, Moscow Mule? Jameson Pineapple. No, not favorite, but like go to, like Jameson Moscow Pineapple. Mule. No. I want to say, like, if I'm out somewhere and I'm like, I need a drink to get me started to have fun, I'll just start off with, like, a, a vodka Red Bull, hopefully with a splash of cranberry. I can't do good. Red Bull anymore because my heart might explode. Grow up. Mm. I did. And it's got to be then... Grey Goose. Grey Goose, baby. You just drank straight up Grey Goose. And then you put um, Red Bull in it? ruining and it. then from there i'll get like a probably a long island iced tea i fuck with a long island more of a short island kind of guy are you 13? but a rhode island any other time go-to drink is probably a mojito yeah probably mojito i fucking He's love a, mojitos he was a terrible antagonist in the jujitsu kaisen season two <laughs> fight back fight back <laughs> <laughs> You guys are just punny today. Speaking of Jujitsu Kaisen, do we want to do the submission or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do that. Yeah. So we got a submission from an anonymous listener, um, asking us, "What would your domain expansion be?" From the anime Jujitsu Kaisen, um. Um, do, do you guys want to go first? I've already kind of thought about it since I've since I seen the question, but also with reading and watching Jujutsu Kaisen, I got I got a good one. I don't know. It's kind of hard to then, think because, like, if you want to, if you want to, like, kind of make your own domain expansion, you kind of have to think about what power, kind of power, what kind of curse energy you would be using within. You don't Kaisen. necessarily need to have a curse technique to have a domain expansion. Some people's power is their domain expansion. Like you, so. No, but kind of. I totally guessed. <laughs> <laughs> I would say there's not really a good example because everybody... Oh, no, Hikari. Hikari's curse technique is essentially his domain expansion. Hikari, was that the one with the hand sword? No. It, you guys haven't seen him if you guys have uh, only watched the anime. He comes in okay. the calling game. Okay, the calling games are okay. Yeah. yeah. But he is going to be like one of the new main characters essentially, but get used to it. But his domain his whole power comes from his uh domain expansion. Mm. But 
do you guys do, have you guys thought of it that are yours i don't know you can go ahead chase i'm thinking i i can probably come up with like a bu- i could probably just on the spot think of both of your guys's okay let me go ahead and give mine because i've already thought about it yeah. i used to um i i do daydream all the time every single day of my life um and i used to do it really really bad where i would just literally walk in the backyard of my house and just like walk in circles and just like be daydreaming and thinking of like stories brother you're on the spectrum Uh, well yes i am i was gonna say he might be a (laughs) 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 brother you have the tism we love (laughs) yeah and it's cool no but quick real quick how many seats did your bus have um i uh Wait. Two. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> uh, That's. I got rides from. I got rides to school. My short bus was a van. <laughs> it was a. They had to get a special van for Chase. <laughs> <laughs> gotta lock this guy up. Lock me up? What do you mean? <laughs> they had to bring him into school like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> He's like tied to. Like... Stretcher. <laughs> Guys, stop being funny. <laughs> With a muzzle. <laughs> I'm trying to bite people. <laughs> I would just oh. like grab people with my toes and like squeeze really hard. <laughs> Why the dogs? Why does it always go to the dogs with you? It goes to the dogs. <laughs> It would open up and it would be like a field of clouds, you know, and I would use the clouds essentially to attack and my uh, for sure hit attack, unblockable attack would be like uh, the clouds just hitting them and going through whatever kind of curse technique that they had to defend themselves with. Essentially is what I... uh, would think of and i was also thinking i I don't think it would fit the lore as well um there would be like a nightmare mode or whatever that would instead of being like a daydream it would turn into like a nightmare dream you know but i wouldn't have control of my domain at that point okay i think i got one i think i got one i think i got one okay i don't know if this will I mean, really, it's really, you really could just use your imagination with it because there's like a lot of possibilities you could do. I was thinking, because I was thinking back to, what was the, the, the curse's name? The special grade that Gojo killed. Hanami. Right? Yeah. There, was it Hanami? No, it was the other one that Toji killed. Dagon. Um, yeah, how it was like, the domain expansion was like a beach kind of i was thinking like would be like a big like domed coliseum thing with a and it'd be completely dark and it'd be a big like revolving light and like just a bunch of like pillars and stuff and every time like a shadow touched you it would be like a deafening poison It would be like infinite shadow poison or some shit, you know. Shadow poison. It's even better. I got mine. Let's hear it. Domain expansion. Ever changing weapons bold. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. When I said I could pick out your guys's domains, I was gonna say Ganon's. You would be able to like have any weapon in your domain. You would be able to create any weapon in your domain. Yeah, dick knife. <laughs> but, dude, imagine that. Like, I don't know what color. Well, I like my favorite color is purple. Okay. Um, so, like, well, that's kind of copying Gojo's. But anyways, just purple, right? And then 
they're like, whoa, what's going on? And I'm like, you know what's going on? AK-47, bub. But imbued with cursed energy. And they have My guns domain and... expansion. <laughs> My dick's like... a Tommy gun. <laughs> <laughs> you just have a big sword, you know? It's... You know how, like, video games will randomly put in dildos as, like, you know, melee weapons? Oh, oh <laughs> Saints Row 3. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that would be, like, you could do that. You would just start beating people with a fucking long-ass dildo? Just. I mean, you know, if you... Uh... Bruce Lee style? Just... It kind of goes into another bad superpowers that I came up with, um, but we can get to that another time if you guys want to. Uh, but yeah, like, I would assume like Ganon would just go into his domain, think of a weapon to use, and then he would be able to use it. Yeah, of course, like, whatever, you know, I'd have to... Like, how Go... Like, if you hear Gojo talk about using his domain, like, he can get it down to, like, milliseconds... Mm -hmm. of what he needs to do. I'd yeah. have to do that, but, like, find the weakness of whatever my enemy... Like, they're, if they're one full, like, you know, armor, probably won't go with a gun. Yeah. Probably mm -hmm. find some other kind of slice tool to get a pinpoint. Mm -hmm. Unless I would just like that. What would be, like, your <laughs> uh, for sure hit attack? Guaranteed uh, hit attack. I would, I would assume it would be, like, Mech. after... <laughs> I, w I would say if you couldn't kill your opponent in like three rounds or three clips of a gun or whatever uh, a nuke would just drop on him N nuke I want it to be like you ever seen that snapshot of I think it might be Deadpool where he has like all of his weapons out mm -hmm. you ever seen that picture it looks so cool but that happens where it's it like, and then it's even like, like lance launchers and just like, oh yeah, random stuff. Just it's just like that. It's, it's just like, all, it like covers his whole radius, and he's just, there's just nowhere for them to go. I know you guys haven't seen Fate. I'm gonna make a Gilgamesh reference, but it's just like maybe the weapons are just yeah, like you're saying, just all around. Mm -hmm. Watch Fate. Watch Fate. Grow up. Watch uh, Fate. Read Chainsaw Man. It's the similar thing too to the Gun Devil. Uh, lick my nuts. I know the gun double. <laughs> yeah. And it's Ganon. <laughs> My domain expansion would be that you instantly die as soon as you enter. Uh, My void. curse technique, though, would also Infinite be void. this little cloud that follows me around. It would almost be like a cursed spirit, but he would be able to like give me uh, like cursed objects or conjure stuff up from a part of the cloud that I could use to fight curses without my domain. Yeah. I thought about this a lot. I've I've thought about cursed techniques for all of you guys in like my own head cannon and what would, even what, Trey. What, would you think, what, would you, what did you think mine would be? What did, I, what did you say for me? I uh, gave you a cursed spirit that would be your little buddy, and his name was Mule. Dude, I thought I thought about this a lot. His name that would be Mule. Sounds kind of stupid. No, it's not. Mules, would... mules are great characters. No, I love mules. He, I love mules he's, and horses. It's a, it's a, it's a cursed spirit that helps you fight. It has like a thousand arms. It's obviously a curse. It's gonna look fucking demonic and disformed and shit. But it can also, you can pull out anything. It's like Toji's little like worm thing that wrapped around him, and he was able to give him um, cursed objects or whatever. It would be the same thing, but it would also be able to hold any sort of cursed object. And then it would be able to like seal curses if you couldn't kill them or whatever. I'd rather do some like shadow manipulation shit, you know. All right, that's I fucking will... Mega Me. I couldn't give that to you in my head cannon. Everybody still is alive, and I want to say in scanners. No, technique. not like be shadow puppets, but like just like manifesting shadows to actually use in attacks, like. Oh, you have a shadow? Your shadow just fucking stabbed you in the back of the neck, you fucking bitch. Now oh, let's... Cool. Clapping let's, your let's, cheeks with your own shadow. Now, now's where we uh, go back to, to the episode where that was my power, and Adrian thought he could beat me with super speed. But then I go... I got time today. I'm not here. I'm somewhere else now. And then you run over there? I'm over here now. 
and I'm sitting there eating an apple because I'm I'm like that. I'm like, oh hey. And the minute you see, the minute you think you're safe, here I come popping up Omega Beam through your skull. Done. Omega Beam does nothing if I'm as invulnerable as Superman. <laughs> to be able to teleport away from me, you have to be able to see me moving at the speed of light and teleport before I oh, can reach Oh, and then you. what are you going to do? You're going to punch me with your punch super Punch a hole through your chest. <laughs> I am I am built like Superman. Okay, here's your punch. Oh, owie. Teleport. That tickled. Yeah. Ooh, I don't ow. know. Spider-Man strength moving at the speed of light. I think that might punch a hole through your chest. Then, goes down. And then the minute Limitless goes down, neck. the second Limitless goes down, you punch what you think is me, but it's actually a dream conjure conjuration of myself you just destroy the dream oh wait Oops, i'm in so, the cloud surfing like a stream of electricity so your tactic is hiding so would your no, i'm gonna i'm straight I'm gonna, hands over here <laughs> so your light I'm straight hands I'm your lightning that. would produce a bunch of light to then create shadows all over the place and then i'm just i'm, I'm in i'm in the cloud surfing through okay it's a it's a one v it's a one v one v one you know so it's like we're all fighting each other. Speed force, Spider Man strength, Omega beams. You can't hide in the clouds forever. I'll teleport inside until of until I conjure clouds that you think is me, and then I'm behind you and I lightning strike you through the chest. Your lightning's not going to move faster than I can. You're not going to know I'm. You're not going to know I'm behind you though. Yeah, lightning strike me, brother okay. man. I say, mm. <laughs> how am I not gonna know you're not there? Uh, because I'm sneaky. <laughs> That's where you insert it, uh, editor. Wait, I'll what try episode? and find you're it. You're gonna have to actually remind me because I'm. It was when we oh, uh, drafted our superpowers. It was literally my, the superpower I picked. I was like shadow manipulation. Well, I mean, if Smoking. you can't touch, if you can't even like. Physically see me coming? How are you going to touch my shadow? Can exactly. You send shadows. <laughs> I think what Gannon is saying is that he thought of it first. And no, you I'm had saying, the. I'm, the bait I'm saying it sounds. You could it sounds like it. Speed. It works awfully well, doesn't it, Adrian? Like it could take out a lot of people. I did, they could the, can it take bad. out somebody with super speed that you can't see coming? Okay, then my curse technique. I'm. I'm now fighting you. My curse technique super speed. <laughs> And then I beat you somehow. I'm going to do things to you with your shadow. Oh, that are you? Oh, well, now you're... <laughs> you're my... outing yourself. Because <laughs> it's his shadow. I'm cut this out to save your Cause life, it's, Adrian. Because it's his shadow. It's not oh. me doing it. Oh, so the shadow, though, would be able to attack me with super speed. It's going to lick now, your ass with its I'm, super time. I'm now finiting <laughs> what I said before. With your own statement. I'm, I'm running for shadow, Congress. I'm running for, I'm running for Congress. Have you on Get all out of here. I'm, I'm running for Congress. Butt. You're done. You're done. I'll you have died. your shadow put a collar on you and put you in a gibb suit. <laughs> Dominate you. You need help. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah no, no, seriously. <laughs> Adrian's search history is just immediately BDSM. Um, Flash and Gibbs. Uh, but my curse technique. Um, um, oh, what's up, brother? Uh, <laughs> super Super Saiyan scanner. You know what I mean? Kinda. You know what I mean? So it it kind of it won't tell me what people's curse technique is, but it could, maybe you could just like give me a hint of like what I'm up against, right? Yeah. And then a lever action. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Cowboy gun. You know what it would tell you? Well, that's what, it is. that's what it is. That's what it is. It's a lever action. I'm doing it wrong, actually, because I shoot with my right hand, so with my left hand. You know what that power would tell you about me? It would be like, watch out for this guy. He's going to violate Yeah, especially when I put a bayonet on the end of it. What's up? Yeah, your shadow's going to put a bayonet in you. So maybe one of those bayonet. like episodes where the guy's just overly confident. He's like, he doesn't know my curse technique is so much stronger than him. What does he have? All he can do is detect my curse technique, and then he just speed blitzes you and like sodomy.
<laughs> sodomy. Until he's getting gang banged by a bunch of shadows, then what? <laughs> just be sitting there like this. Just... I'm peaceful. <laughs> I'm, I'm chilling in my domain in the clouds, like hanging out with my little cloud curse. You're not safe there. up there. <laughs> Shut anyway. up let it out by these shadows. <laughs> Adrian, you like I'm gonna have to, like there's just gonna be a long bleeps. I don't think this can go <laughs> on the internet. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. We'll be fine. For the safety of your life, that's hard. Right? Uh, I don't know if you, it, you gotta put it in the back cool. so uh, you know. Yeah. Get some. If you guys in have there. a, if you guys have a domain expansion, that it's double sided. You want to tell the world about. Drop it in the comments below. Stitch this video. If it's short enough, e editor will try, um, but most likely won't be able to do it because it's super hard to fit three different perspectives in a video, in a minute long video. Um, sorry. Not sorry. Sorry. Maybe we'll take all the funny outtakes and put it in that video. Maybe something. Um, do you guys want to go into these bad superpowers? Do you guys want to, you know, get off the whole nerdy, uh, nerd stuff? My whole life is nerd stuff. Literally uh, my whole life is. Well, I've, we I've are technically in the leisure, uh, category in podcast now, so we have to kind of be on that weird, or the nerd streak. I'm going to take a second. Not to sponsored, my mom, but. To my mom readers. readers. No free clout. No free clout. To, to the manga readers and the, the viewership or the listenership, dude, I have I finished book two today. I'm on book three, starting it. Die Dark. D-A-I, Dark. I'm not going to spell it Dark, because, come on, no. But, on, no. dude, Is it spelled it. Dark with a E at the end? Yes. A dark A. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a Dark A. But no, no dude, it's so it is so good. The fact that it doesn't have an anime yet, I'm gonna quick spiel and I'm done. The fact that it doesn't have an anime yet is criminally upsetting. Give it give criminally. us a rundown of the story so we can make this into a clip and uh, get people on it. <sighs> okay, okay. Be quick about it. You got two minutes. Go. The main character, his name is Sanko, and he has this armor called dark hide and there's a lot to it he's got this armor called dark hide which just like forms around him the setting is space some other part of space and his whole existence space. right he's being chased because his bones can grant and his bones in his body can grant any wish to anybody that wants it, you know. So he's got all these people that want to try to kill him. Even when he goes back to his home area called the Dark Nest, N E S T Nest, not darkness, Dark Nest. Mm -hmm. He goes back there, and even the darkest, there, yeah. he's being attacked by people that can go there. And the only way you can even go in there is if you have these certain abilities. Because there was a there was a researcher, this regular human man, who's like. I've studied black holes for my entire life. You have to enter a black hole. Human dude, this is actually like, it's like, it's like dark humor a lot of the way too, if you're into that. Check it out. It's super funny. There's a lot of dark puns. There's like this guy that was like, he was like, oh, I've, I've studied black holes my whole life and now I can go through one. He goes through one and it warps his body in such a way. No, alive. I thought he died too. But then it's like uh, this black ooze comes out and it formulates into like this six legged black creature that can't see, speak, or hear. And that's the rest of his existence. That's it crazy. like warped his body, it warped his soul, it warped everything about this man into a little creature. And then he's like, oh. And the, the main character was like, well, I tried to warn you, old man. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> And it's like he didn't dude, study enough. The, it's so good. It's so good. The rest of the story, like, his main squad is, like, people that are 
enormously hated throughout the universe. And they're kind of like anti-heroes because the main character, his powers, he collects bones. Bones of actual spacelings is what they're called, is currency in the dark nest. He's able to upgrade his gear, get, and which is ironic because you get dark bones, which are then his weapons. He has a bone axe, and then if it touches somebody, if he cuts somebody with it, it takes all of the skin off of them and just melts right off of them. And then he can take their bones for currency. It's super cool. Super great it story. Sounds like a dark concept. It's like that, but uh, like... Dark A. Dark A. Dark A. Right, I'll say. Sanko's on the front, main character, right? They're like, your oh, bones, wow. boy. He looks, he looks like super scary. Here's what he looks like underneath of his mask. Oh, he sounds. He looks like a. Uh, looks me. like a bitch. He, he's oh. just a goofball. He's like a, it's, the entire way. He's a goofball. It's so funny. And all he really what cares. What the about... fuck, Adrian? Wait, what are you saying? Terrible typing. <laughs> I said he. I said he looks like me, and then Adrian at the same time was like, "He looks like a bitch." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, again, I'll make a deal with you. I'll read Die Dark. I'm not doing these anymore. I did this for Attack on Titan. Je- granted, okay. Which I was like... a good thing. Okay, I don't know what I was going to say. Okay. It was good. I but... will read Die Dark if you read Kagurabashi. What do you cook on Hibachi? <laughs> I will. <laughs> not Honestly, no, yours. I'll... I would rather him watch, like, uh, or read Chainsaw Man. That's what I, I'm going to eventually get the box set. Yeah, but I like want a, him to reach Kagurabachi. Or Kagurabachi is still, like, super new. There's not, like, a ton of chapters out. See, that's a me. I If I'm going to start reading something, that's my problem with Berserk right now, is, like, I'm done with the first book, and now I want to read the rest, but they're also, like, $30 each volume, which is like not a lot, relatively speaking, especially for hard the deluxe, You probably want to get all the deluxes, right? Exactly. Yeah. They're like, they range, I, I have them all saved in my Amazon cart, and they range from like, because I told these guys, like, I could read online, but I like the physicality of a book, and my long goal is to have a library. Especially when the internet, for some reason, if we ever get hit by MP- EMPs, I have my library. I can read. <laughs> They also, there's like a trend going on now where, like, Ubisoft came out and was like, gamers should get used to not. Say that again? Is that how you pronounce it? Say that again? Ubisoft? 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 That's what I get called in the street is Ubisoft. The way you said Ubisoft, maybe Ubi hard. Not gonna lie. (laughs) The fuck? Okay. (laughs) We know the name of the studio, right? They no, said this <laughs> Ubisoft. Oh, who okay. said it that way? Ubisoft <laughs> came out, the CEO came out and said that gamers should be used to not owning their games. Exactly. See, that's why I have these physical copies of everything, dude. Did you get so, that kind of stuff? Yeah, there's a so big they push should now. get used to not calling it piracy. No, yeah, that's that's what uh, somebody said. They were like, if buying a game is not owning it, then piracy is not stealing it. If we're paying money to own something and then you're going to eventually take away our rights whenever you feel like it or take away the ownership of that, yeah, yeah, then pirating something is not stealing, right? See, that's why we all get physical books... And then we all get into Warhammer 40,000. 30,000? 40,000. Dang it. And I don't... 30,000? 40, is it 40,000. 40, 40,000. 40, so, because then we all have a physical board game we can all get together. <laughs> Even though they're like... I looked them up. Like $60 for one figure. That's crazy. People make a living off of that. And then you need like multiple 
figures, you know? Yeah, you have an army. And then you yeah. find a paint each individual one. And then I looked at how much the paint was, because it was one of those spur moments of, like, ADHD where I'm like, I want to get hyper-focused in on this Warhammer for about a week. Yeah. And I looked it up, and I'm like, okay, to get a starter set, I'm looking at least $300. Uh, yeah. I don't want to dive into anything super immersive like that. I'm like diving into the game stuff right now, like game development stuff. You know what we should get into? Rough. World of Warcraft. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Let's do no. it. No. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. Are they wings? Sorry. Wings? Macy just put a 1911 down on my desk. Um, Wait, so it's my uncle. You talk about wings, Chase. Well, he he said wings. No, it. Oh, what are you no saying? No wings. He said. Yeah, somebody I know. That's his name. Like it belongs oh. to. Like the I'll belonging keep of Wayne. Can you bleep it out, please? Yeah, yeah I'll bleep yeah. it. Yeah. I'll bleep it. Chase, get you one of them for your protection. That's I got what I'm about to get. I'm trying to get Mi- me some Miko? That the building. I guess so. An invader. Yeah, dude, he will fuck somebody up. He's fucking climbing up on me and just ripped into my skin. You're getting down. Wouldn't happen if he was a dog. It would still happen if he was a dog. He would still want to jump It wouldn't on happen my if lap. he was a goldfish. <laughs> yeah. If you can. <laughs> If you can own, own any animal, like any animal, a dragon ever dragon. that actually oh. existed, they absolutely existed. You can't fucking call me out on that. Show me dragon bones. Uh, show me I any discovery. Of, I have anything. a Literally lot everywhere. of articles that I can show yes. you. Chase, I'm with you on this. Dragons before, existed. Before, dragons before, existed. Okay. Before anything other than eight, fucking before dragons, before 1875, make it interesting. before 1875, every single kind of dinosaur was called dragon. Look it up in every kind of form of history. Dinosaurs. Why do you think there's so most many people lied about shit them. all the time? Then how do dinosaurs even exist? We found their bones. Did you personally? Carbon dating. Did you personally? <laughs> <laughs> Did you personally carbon date the bones of the dinosaurs? Show me any dragon bones in a museum right now that you can go see, physically see. If that you can they go physically see, they, they, can't, they can't identify and... the wing bones because they would have been too hollow. They would have disintegrated with the earth. The physical form of the dragon, that's probably why they're misidentifying the, the dinosaurs. <laughs> look, look at the bones of a bird, Adrian. They can't. The, they don't know the if bones, dinosaurs the bones like had scales birds. or not. Look they the think they could have been birds. feathered. There's so much that we don't know about the dinosaurs, and I'm not saying dinosaurs didn't exist because they absolutely did. But I'm also saying dragons existed. Are you? Why is there you, so wait, many you're, different? You're mythology, not, wait, myth, Adrian. Mythi- <laughs> you don't believe in dragons. <laughs> I I want to, but I just don't think there is enough evidence in the world to prove that they ever oh, exist. Oh, only every like, thousands, every... millions of years of not millions, but like in so media, many they're decades. awesome. Dragons are awesome. Everyone loves dragons, but, but I just why is don't there think so many different cultures? Why evidence. is there like one unifying thing on every single culture where they would all paint cats and dragons? Every single one of them. If you look at every single written history, they talk about dragons in some form of history. Literally, Most religions and mythologies have so many similarities and things that are taken from one another that it's just saying that doesn't mean. A- Adrian's sure. great, 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 great grandson is going to say the Holocaust didn't exist. No. Because there is recorded history of that. Now there, there is. is a mu- now there is. There is a museum you can go now to. There, there is a is. whole place you can go to and see now what was happening there, there if you don't and believe I'm sure, it happened. I'm sure. I'm sure. 500 years ago, there were the same kind of things going on. 
the the uh what was it called the great library of uh alexandria or whatever that burnt to the ground it was in rome or something where it had documents of everything that happened in the past and that's what brought us into the dark ages because we lost essentially all of recorded history they said we would be on a much different uh trajectory as so you're saying auschwitz is just going to burn down everyone's going to forget it happened no that's not what we're saying but we're saying that if then how would my kid forget what gannon is saying uh, like what if like an emp attack hit and wiped everything off the map and then like essentially as time goes on we stopped like talking about the holocaust because like like he's saying there's no recorded history of it for us to reference back to and see what happened in there's the 1900s so or whatever. Many different, there's so many different textbooks, pieces of text. What if a freaking meteor? Me- what if a meteor hits Earth and scorched Earth, and then the last living humans live in a bunker, and then they come and, out? And what if your dick disappeared? You'd be a woman. What, what if? Talk- what if? Don't explain Whoa, anything. That's not what, very. What if? Whoa, what if? Don't Adrian. explain anything. What if this? What if that? None well, of that's, that's what, happening. No, I was These trying to give you a real. I was trying to give you a re, I was trying to give you a real example of how history was actually wiped from our existence. All of recorded history burned down one time. And it's like, even scarier. We have record of that, and then we went into the dark ages, and then we lost all of that recorded history that, and it's even scarier that had been that, documented. It's okay, even scarier because all of history books. was stored in one place. Do you think that's, in 2024, all of history is contained in one physical place? If, like, servers all crashed and get wiped? You think if, there was one if place don't, that has physical documents What if we this? can't get? What if we can't get access to the World Wide Web at look at one sc- point? Look at schools think- nowadays, Adrian. Look at schools nowadays. You're in school, right? Yes. What do you do a lot of your what do you what do you turn a lot of your work in on? Canvas. There's still an entire library. You're There's, lying to me. You still get you can a still lot get of it assigned is on computers. A lot of it's on computers. Yeah, all You look at a lot of these the high schools, they Hold give on. them tablets. They give them tablets. That's what they give them. A lot of these schools now are starting to give them tablets. Huh. And I'm not saying it'll be next week, Adrian. But tablets? give it like two hundred and fifty years. Tablets? But okay, so tablets. We, have, we have a we have a whole side on, of this country on. that are trying to ban and burn books right now. What are we What are we talking about? They, what are they trying to accomplish, Adrian, with the book burning? They are trying Adrian, to erase history. Adrian is going to be a boomer in seventy years. <laughs> you give it You give it sixty years. Adrian is going to be the new version of a boomer. He will be the new boomers. People will. Hold on, tablets. They give they give tablets out at school, and these are all the ones they that do. I, only that I've bought myself. But they also have books. Not that Adrian. I've rented. We're not trying to say that only tablets exist in schools, but they are going to a more digital age, which is fine. But we're also saying it's things. Not, but that can doesn't mean. Out. That Things doesn't mean all out. physical records and copies are just going to disappear. And that doesn't mean that they're all contained in one place. You're, what if a meteor hits? A meteor would have to hit and destroy most countries. And if that happens, shit won't fucking matter. Civilization's uh, well, just going to have to restart or humans go extinct. And it won't even matter. So you're, you're yeah, what society if? Society will have to restart with no record of anything. And society no would have to Holocaust. restart with like a thousand people that probably won't survive. That would probably just be the end of humanity. If one meteor hits and it's just like one place takes takes damages and stuff, that doesn't mean physical records are just going to magically disappear from every other country that has any type of physical print. It's going to scorch the earth. Everything, every touchable place on the earth is most likely going to get scorched then humans what, go what extinct are, then so your what if is what, is what local if mango say they're in a bunker adrian <laughs> and, and okay not even that not even that not even that not even like holo not even like holocaust theory not even like you know apocalyptic theory what does Doflamingo flamingo say he talks about how the people that win wars do what adrian they write history it's they also in modern rewrite history. shepherd said it 
the winners of the wars. Uh, Where are you going with this? The history. <laughs> Where I'm are you going they with re- this? They rewrite history. So they rewrote history, just wrote dragons out of it. What the fuck? Are you talking, what, what is that? What do you to me? I'm, well, I'm, I'm, just I'm saying, not saying they rewrote uh, no, it I'm, for I'm like a conspiracy the dragons. I'm, I'm, it's a lost cause of the dragon thing. But I'm saying, <laughs> I'm trying to road. see how all of this connects to dragons, dude. Dragons were real. Were real. Let us know in the comments. Do you guys believe in dragons? Yes or no? I want to believe, but I want I want ev- I want evidence to exist. Is what it is. I want evidence to exist to prove that dragons are real. I'll, I'll put a bunch of articles. I'll send them in the Tyrannosaurus the Rex. Tiny arms, or possibly wings. Okay. So, so what was this whole thing that you were talking about again? Mm-hmm. Doesn't the anatomy of T Rex kind of seem kind of strange to you? It doesn't no. the anatomy of most prehistoric things seem fucking weird compared to what we have now? Exactly. Not so, exact. Not exactly. A lot of them had like four legs. Uh, Velociraptors they had proportional arms to their legs. But then you have these creatures. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tiny, tiny arms. Big head. Legs proportional to the body and their head, but with tiny arms. See? Call me. Everything was weird back then, though. <laughs> like... Well, that's what we're saying. Like, not everything made sense back in the day. So why couldn't the possibility of a dragon, with their bones being hollow enough for them to not be able to survive prehistoric records? Because none of that's been actually to... proven. None. Of, nothing's been proven. We don't know if dinosaurs had scales or not. We don't know if they had fur because you can't tell with that stuff. You know what we know? That they existed. We know... Yeah. Their sizes. We know their bone shape. We know likely what their muscle mass but was like. But we're always finding new species of dinosaurs, like on a what? yearly basis. What? And, really? when they, and when and they, they find re- dragon, I'll be happy. And but then when they just... redefine the bone structures of s- certain dinosaurs, they reclassify them. When do you go what, in there what next? What we're saying is like they could be calling a T Rex a dragon, for all we know, or they could be calling a dragon a T Rex. Because if dragons existed, it flipped the axis of all modern things. You know what this all sounds like to me? It sounds like you're trying to tell me, hey, read a book. This, this orange. That's grass. This orange actually used to be pink and tastes like cherries. But, like, also, we don't know that for sure. And, like, maybe that's true or not. Like, is it. Do we have, do we have proof of that or not? Yes, that was yeah. a stomper. That was a real stomper. You got us it's there. Just, it's just like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Is there evidence or not? Yes well, or I mean, not. I mean, if we go back to the history of fruit, what did it start with one fruit and then it eventually evolved and branched off to different fruit? Just kind of like all other organisms on the planet. We all yeah. kind of branched and then they got off AIDS. and divided. Sorry. It's a losing battle, Chase, because yeah. it's like this. Hey! <laughs> hey! What you're trying to sell me is hey! maybe this existed. We don't know because this doesn't make sense. But none of that makes sense because we have proof of one thing and we have, don't have proof of anything. And you're trying to tell me the thing that has no proof is real despite having no proof because maybe the proof we, we could have is it's in something written, different it's, it's everywhere what like is it two plus two four or is it not four it's it's like it's simple is the evidence there he, or is the evidence somebody not that there needs like concrete evidence he i yes. bet he doesn't believe Santa. but even then um but even then like the concrete evidence is second hand through a screen of some form or a book but it's like second hand Take that logic a step further, and everything we know is secondhand. So, what's real or not? Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) So, we're all having fun. 
Yeah. There. And now I will. Now, I will say, Adrian. Now I'm living the, paranoid. The dragon. I I think there's enough evidence want to it say to be dragons real. could have existed because of the cultural significance, how it touched every single like early civilization from the past you know there was always recorded documentation drawings poems whatever what the fuck. The, what's the, what's the chinese uh what's what is it they have them in all the restaurants where it's like i'm an ox right you know the what I'm talking chinese about? zodiac sign the chinese zodiac sign you got ox chicken rat tiger snake dragon so because we have chinese zodiacs oh, dragons That's, existed he's just trying to say like well, why would you, it exist do, don't you in believe chinese in astrology culture. Do, do you believe in astrology do you know what's also been things in recorded history be beings with multiple arms astrology? beings that are like nine and ten feet tall do you not believe in like, aliens oh hold on you don't believe in aliens? Come on now. The That's one thing. The probability of aliens existing has to happen. With that, it has to be, or we are at a, at a point it, in time. It, 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 you it, hit the point. You hit the point, and then no, you right there's back. no evidence though. There's no evidence that they exist. You're trying to tell me that dragons exist with no evidence, just because we don't have, it, like, we don't have evidence of aliens they to us they don't exist i want them it's the same thing with dragons i want them to exist because it's very believable but show me that alien anything no okay it, re it reminds me of something um i have fun with it i don't believe in fun. shit that doesn't exist adrian do you believe the one piece is actually out there that's a fictional story it doesn't make Put me in the One Piece world. And, yeah. But that's the whole point of the story of One Piece. People don't believe it's real because no one's ever seen it. Except for hearsay from Goldie Roger, right? You're trying to compare a fictional world to reality. It's, it's and the pick, messaging. Just, it's the messaging. The, the, the messaging is One day I hope something Adrian in a fictional world compares to reality and that's not true especially it's when this, in, it's just nothing makes sense in that it's just a hypothetical hypothetical I'm Honestly, have, the one hypothetical piece is a real, great but it's it might be real in the story of one piece i want adrian to have his aragon moment where like he stumbles upon a dragon egg and then it becomes his friend dude i hope that's so. how if bad. i Honestly, stumble upon a dragon egg i'll be like yeah dragons are fucking real what if it's just a <laughs> big lizard egg Okay, so what if Ganon finds a dragon egg and then he posts a video of the dragon? Are you going to believe it? I'm going to want to come fucking see it for to make sure he's not fucking learning so video shit. So you're not going to believe recorded evidence of a dragon? No, we're going to fly by the his first apartment. ever recorded he's gonna evidence. Drop me on his balcony. I'm gonna anyone knock on his window and fly off. Think just think fucking rationally for, for 2 seconds. 2 take 2 seconds to critically think. The first ever recorded evidence of a dragon and you think you're just going to be like yeah, I I'm going to want to go Dude, fucking absolutely. see that to make sure it's absolutely. To Basically. make sure it's not fucking fake. Dragons just like real, any right? any rational tell, person would be like, I need to see this in person real. to actually believe that's. I'm real. gonna be able to tell if it's CGI or not. Now we got, I we can got tell the people. difference between CGI and a dragon, like a real you dragon. You can you can tell the difference, but also I'm gonna want to come see it in fucking person because one, it's a dragon. Two, because I need to I just need to see it to I just need to see it with my own. Have you ever seen a physical brain? That's a very different argument. Have there. you? No, 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 no. It is not a very different thing. Have you ever seen a? Because that's the point that you're making right now, Adrian. <laughs> Have you ever seen a physical brain? So you're telling I me know. brains don't exist? If I no, I'm If not, I say no, you're going to tell me brains don't exist? No, that's. I'm just trying to in your world take your point that you're trying to make and crush it because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make the sense that I need because what evidence you're saying is, to exist. What you're saying is you can, see you can see video evidence of something existing and happening in the real world, but you will not believe it until you see it in person. Is that – that's your point? Yeah, and I think any rational person would be like, yeah, that's just 
a dragon on video, that's fucking crazy. I need to see this in person. I feel like that's a rational response from any normal person that's like, no way if dragon's real. I need to see this in person. Yes, right now. It's not it's I'm not sh- a it's not it doesn't come from like disbelief like, no, this is a trick. It comes from like this can't be real. I need to see this in person. Because it's that exciting for you. Because, it, yes, it's a fucking dragon. If it's real, I want to fucking see that shit in person. If it's fucking real, so, yes, I want to see that shit when, in person. When I say the first word, you say the next word that comes to mind. Komodo. Dragon. It's an... The Boom! N- <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. Got your ass. No, that doesn't make sense. Say that right now. Say that out. Say this out loud right now. Dragons exist because Komodo dragons exist. Say it out loud in the mirror and look at yourself. Okay, one second. Leave my bathroom now. <laughs> tell me if that. Did you open just, up a can? Yeah. Tell me if that Komodo makes Komodo dragons even... exist because uh, dragons exist. And that didn't sound the slightest bit irrational or silly. <laughs> Sign is a bit irrational or silly. I live Not at my, all. I live that was like world. the most serious thing ever. Like that connection right there. Mm-hmm. That is all the evidence you need. You're telling me that. So that's it. Are you are you learning a lot in school? From your books? Yeah. Have you seen any physical evidence of these things you learn in your books? Has you... physical evidence of a dragon ever existed? Yes, we've said there's like so many different paintings and poems. And no, 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 no. Physical evidence what, that a what dragon physical... existed. Yes, no. I don't think video re- like because there's back there's in there's been pain, the paintings times. of every single go- deity and every single mythology and re- religion. You're telling me all of those actually existed? Why not? Yeah, why not? Just because there's a painting of it. Why not? I think it's so. If I go, I think it's different because it touched all these different civilizations, all these different societies, all these different cultural like language barrier. Like, there's no way you can get past that. Like, common tongue. They all painted dragons because all of civilization started from the same. For no, this was different types of nomadic were, people. There's different all there's of these Chinese mythologies dragons, and reli- there's religions. There's medieval dragons. There's like Japanese yes, dragons. Of, there's so many different types of dragons, but they all so existed many, together. There's Kukukan. so many. Some. Th- th- this is the thing. I did take Tiamat. a mythology class in college. A lot of these stories of different mythologies, like different, um, like Greek, Roman, Hindu, all of these different. All of these different stories of these, like, just the journeys of these deities, not only are they all similar and follow the same pattern, they, they're all starting from different points in time. They're all influenced starting from the same time when people were nomadic within the same small area. Within, so, like, Mayan dragons and Chinese dragons influence each other in what way? Because you have in the way that, that looks very similar to a traditional Chinese dragon. In the dragon. way that the beliefs of all these people who were nomadic within like the Middle Eastern, okay, traveling how they between getting, Europe how they and across? Asia, the Bering Strait from Russia down into what but is why, now the United why States. Why would there be like a cultural significance to include dragons? If it because came people from carried when... beliefs and stories and passed these stories on with time. You think now nowadays we have phones and stuff to pass the time and shit. But why Back would, then why they couldn't told have been stories. anything else? They probably told a billion other stories. Why did the dragons because so hard? Everything it it all started from the same type of belief and it branched out as time went on and people told these stories these same elements carried on within stories as these people split off into different areas and then but split don't off a lot into of people, different areas and then but, split off into different areas there is elements that they kept within a lot of these beliefs which is why there's so many similarities between so many different mythologies and religions around the world is because 
people carried these stories and told these stories word of mouth and it just once we started recording this these histories and these stories that's what we had but it all they all come from the same time frame of nomadic people civilizations st cropping up and starting and all that It's actually okay. very interesting to learn about mythologies in that way. Sounds boring as all hell. With, Show uh, me a unicorn right now. You can no, find some it doesn't exist. Platforms. <laughs> I'm thinking on, uh, Spotify, <laughs> Apple Podcast, and YouTube. I now don't believe in anything. I am now a husk of a I don't human being. This I will clock exists. in and clock out, and then I will go about my life. One of those parts of my life is uh, putting uh, content, well, showing up to do content for the Patreon, out. which is only three dollars a month. Only three dollars. Three dollars. And um, it is strictly donation, guys. It's nothing crazy. If you like what you're hearing, if you wanna, I don't know, maybe see us, see aliens or dragons someday. Three dollars a month could go a long way. You can find Adrian's all of our. Need a cigarette after this. He just looks like he aged five years. Yes, that's what people. That's what happens to people. That, that's what happens to people that don't believe in anything. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> anyway, let's, end let's this. actually end it. I'm hungry and I have. Uh, that is I all the time. I didn't mean to go on a whole other tangent, but I take my mythology serious. All right, I got an A in that class. Nerd. Because <laughs> you know what? It's so great when you could take a class and learn about shit, and every time you hear a name, you and think not about let a game you love. And not let any of it sink in. It's, it's, it's great stories to learn, especially when I could yeah. think about Smite a lot of the time when I learned it. Yeah. So I was like, oh. That's like no Calvin Hobbs. End it, please. I have to That's pee. That's all the time we have. Oh, you have to pee? I have to pee. I've had to pee this whole time. <laughs> For this something original podcast, my name is Adrian. And His I'm name is Damon. Chase. Oh, and I was Damon while I'm He's gonna get mad when he looks back at that. It's so as he took it out. <laughs>